Hello, and welcome to Designing an OER Advocacy Infographic. I'm Judith Sebesta, Executive Director of the Digital Higher Education Consortium of Texas. I'm going to give a quick tutorial on creating an openly licensed infographic to use for OER advocacy at your campus or organization. The platform I'm going to use is Canva, a free tool for, as it says, designing anything. So the first step is to create an account in Canva at www.canva.com. Once you've done that, I recommend checking out the tutorials, which you can find here under Learn. And if you click on Getting Started with Canva, you'll find a lot of really good brief tutorials on how to work in Canva. But I'm going to get you started with creating an infographic for OER advocacy. So let's create a design. You'll want to click on, you guessed it, create a design here, and then infographic. You can use one of their many templates here, but I started from a blank page, which you can see here on the palette. In the interest of time, I've actually begun a design and preset elements after I've shown how to add that type of element. I'll show how to add text, images, shapes, and icons. And then once you've learned the basics, I'll give a quick overview of the rest of the design and at the end show you how to download and share the infographic. So let me go back to home and click on my design here that I've begun. As you can see, I have set the elements in the infographic here. And then I'm going to show you up here how to create those four basic elements that then you can apply to the rest of your infographic. First, I'm going to zoom here so we get better detail. So I'm going to zoom to 100%. There we go. and Scroll up to the top. Now, the default background color is white, but you can change the color. First, click on the infographic there by going up to here and clicking on this. And then you can find a palette of a variety of nice colors that you can use. But for this infographic, I'm just going to, going to go ahead with the default background of white. Now, let's add some text. Let's add a title to this. So go to text and then click on add a heading. And you can either click on it with any of these, you can either click and it'll appear on the page or let me go back, you can drag and drop. So here we go. I've dragged and dropped. And then I have actually created a Google Doc with my tech with the with the text um, ahead of time. And so I'm just going to be copying and pasting my text into the infographic. So let's delete that. And then if you do that, use the space bar to make a little space for yourself to then go to copy from my Google Doc and paste here. So we're going to call this why use open educational resources. And the default color for these for the font or for the text is black, but because our logo uses the colors red, white, and blue, I'm going to change this color. I'm going to highlight it to a nice blue. So you'll click here and go to the color palette. And I like that blue a lot. Okay. I'm going to just readjust this a bit because I'm going to make some room for a logo that I'm going to show you how to add in just a moment. But to add a little visual interest to this, this title here, this heading, I'm going to add an icon over here to the right of the title. So in order to add an icon, you want to go to elements and you can search for shapes and icons here. And I thought I would add a, an open book icon. I like this one. You can see that there's a variety of options. Some of them are premium. You can upgrade to a pro account, but I find that there's a number of good free elements that you can utilize. And then again, you can click on it and it'll drop it into your document, but I prefer to drag it over because you have a little more control where it lands. And then let's resize, place it there. It's still a little bit big, I think. There we go. Notice that these dotted purple lines can help guide you in where you place it. So I think that that looks good there. Now I'd like to add our logo at the top. So let me show you how to import and add an image file. Go to uploads, upload media, Go to, I'm going to go to my desktop where I have the logo that I want to use. I'm just going to use our red logo, logo for this for contrast to the blue. Click choose and you'll see that over here it's uploading the media and there it is. I'm just going to again drag and drop it into, <laughs> into the infographic. There we go and adjust a bit there to the top. 
Great. So again, you just go to uploads, upload media, take it from wherever you want, and, you, and it will upload it here into your media. For the next section, let's add, oh, you know, I realized that I need a little bit more space here to add a subheading. So I'm just going to resize this a bit down to about a 42 point font. Or that's a little bit too small. How about a 48, about a 48 point font. There we go. Let's pull it up just a bit. Let's resize that. The good thing is, is that you really can't um, mess up. You can always, you know, go back, redo. It's very difficult to mess up in Canva. Okay, so let's add a subheading to our infographic right here. And in order to do that, I'm going to want to add a shape. So let's go to elements again. And I don't want to do that. Let me, I had to take out that out of that search box. And let's add a rectangle. They don't really have a rectangle. So I'm going to drag, drag and drop this square here and turn it into a rectangle by stretching it across the page. Let's pull it up here. A little bit less. Let's bring it down. Excellent. And then let's add our text for a subheading now. So go to text. Add a subheading. Let's readjust it up here. I'm going to want to copy and paste my text that I've already created in my Google Doc. Paste it here. And a little, little phrase on what OER are. It's a little bit big. I think I'll adjust the font size by going up here. And let's make it a 24 font size. And the black is a little bit hard to see against the blue background. So I'm going to go here to the color palette and change that to a white. And let's just adjust that a bit there. Congratulations. You have just learned how to add the four basic elements of your infographic, text, images, shapes, and icons. So let me just take a moment to give you a quick overview of the rest of the infographic. And then finally, I'll show you how to share, how to download and share the infographic. Here, I have added a circle for a little bit of visual interest. You see, I used, I've used a square there, these shapes that I've added. I've got some examples of OER in text here, but then I decided to add some icons as examples, again, for visual interest. I searched for books, computer, notebook, and video. I always like to add some data, if I can, to my infographics. So I went to this source and I found some data on the average annual cost for books and supplies at Texas community colleges. This can be quite expensive, as we know, for many students at community colleges and other institutions. And then I want to go in and update this when I have new data from 20 to 21. Then we get to the focus of the infographic, which are the benefits for OER benefit for colleges, benefits for faculty. And I've made this even bigger because students are truly at the heart of what we do and why we do what we do. And so I've included some benefits for students here, you can see. And I did a search for a dollar sign for affordability, a diploma. I did a search for a search icon here. And then finally, I really highlighted the fact that OER can increase progress and success. The last part of my infographic is the attribution statement. I had downloaded these Creative Commons licensing CC by icons from, creative, from the Creative Commons website onto my desktop, and then I went and I uploaded them here and then included the attribution statement. If you do adapt from this infographic, which I hope you do, you'll want to attribute both Digitex and then the original source that I adapted, which is the Why Use OER by BCOEL, and then include your own license in it as well. Finally, let me show you how to download a copy to share. You can just go up here to the top right, click the down arrow, and you can see that you can download a PDF file. There's some other files that you can download, but a PDF is recommended. But for ease of adaptation and sharing, you might want to copy this link here so that they can, so that folks can go right to this document in Canva and begin to edit it there. Finally, for future reference, you can find this video on the YouTube channel of the Digital Higher Education Consortium of Texas, and I've included links in the video description to download the infographic as well as to edit it in Canva. Thank you for joining me today for this quick tutorial. Good luck.